Hi, I'm Cicely and welcome to my channel. So today I am doing a kind of accessory jewelry haul and I would say this is a true haul because unlike some of my try on hauls where I'm trying on clothes and don't know how they're gonna work out, don't know what they look like, these are items that are generally going to fit and I pretty much know what they look like before they get here. So unless there's some kind of really weird fit or like some weird coloring or defect, I bought them with the intention of keeping absolutely everything and generally they're also things that I thought about for a while so with that I'm going to jump right into it. So the first item is a black quilted mini bag and it is super cute. I liked it because it is kind of a dupe for the Bottega bags and this is actually smaller, I think, than any of the bags that look like this from Bottega. H&M did have a larger version of this that I think is kind of in line with the sizing of the quilted Bottega bag. And I still went ahead and got the mini because I just thought it was super cute. I don't have a black, like, camera bag, which I would say, like, this size is kind of like the camera size bag. And I don't have a black one like that. I also have a larger size that's probably like the Bottega size. I have a medium boy bag, a medium Chanel boy bag, and that's already a quilted bag. So I didn't <laughs> I didn't need two bags basically the same size, even if one was just like a very inexpensive dupe. So I like this. I I clearly like this style because I'm trying it, but unlike sometimes when I'm trying on a dupe, I am not trying this with the intention to really ever buy the Bottega one. Never say never, but because this was a trend that had to grow on me, it wasn't something that I just immediately was like, I love this. To me, that means that it's not a forever bag, and since this is definitely a trendy style, I don't need it in an expensive version in my closet, because I think once the trend is over, I will also lose interest in it, for the most part. This will still be a nice bag to like throw on for like travel and things like that, because it's so light, it's so small, and I won't worry about like scratches and things like that. And... I would say it's pretty decent quality. It was very inexpensive. Everything will be linked down below if you want to check it out. And it's just basically completely open inside. And this like is a flap with the kind of like magnetic snap and just like a nice adjustable strap. And this is silver hardware. I usually go for gold hardware, but this is an H&M bag, so it's not like I'm going to get to pick my hardware, but like anytime I'm doing like a designer bag or something like that, I I like gold, whether it's something that only comes in gold or you kind of get to pick and choose. The next item is also a pretty affordable option for a trendy item, and that is a bucket hat. Super cute. I am not going to put this on and try this for you just because my hair is not conducive to it. It's curly. I would wear this with straight hair. Otherwise, it's not going to fit on my head. And like, that's even before worries about messing up my hair. But yeah, I really like this. It's so 90s. So like me growing up and I decided to give it a try. Like it, it grew on me. I can't say that I was a big bucket hat wearer when I was a kid, but like it's everywhere. I got an affordable version. This is actually like a, I think from H&M's Conscious Collection, so it's recycled material, and I would say what this is, it's not really like an absolute dupe for anything because bucket hats are popular overall, but I have been really into Prada's, I think it's nylon, and it may be recycled as well, bags and hats, and they have a bucket hat with like the like Prada logo on it. It's super cute. And if I was getting a designer version of a bucket hat, that would be it. And I would get it and pair it with the really cute backpack that they have. But I'm not doing that. So the H&M version will have to work. But yeah, very cute. Just these little air holes or whatever they are on either side. So this next item is from H&M's collection or collaboration with the Brock collection. This one has like some really nice pearl detail. Pearls are super in right now and so I just figured why not. And it is a glasses chain. It's super pretty. I actually saw it with Josie um, who I think I can't her 
vlog is like the fashion mumbler and I think maybe her YouTube is Josie Aldea in like London. But yeah, I saw her get this and I really liked it. It came out in the UK before it came out here. But yeah, so it's just a really pretty glasses chain and it's fun. It'll be fun for sunglasses. I actually wear glasses a lot of times. So I just thought it'd be fun to stick on this. Because the Brock collection sold out super quickly, I can say that this exact one is sold out. But H&M has some really pretty gold and silver options online with different types of embellishments. And I have at least one link down below because I just think this is like a fun kind of like grandma chic type of thing to do. So in keeping with the pearl theme, the next item I have is a really pretty necklace with a pearl on the end and like beading on the chain. So pearls have been really in. To me, pearls are always in. I'm like very like Southern Miss with that. And this year, the pearl trend is a little bit different. Like the really like organic looking, not very round pearls are in, especially these kind of like single drop pearls for mixing and matching and layering and things like that. And I really like that. Part of what led me to get so many different new accessories as we kind of go into more jewelry type of things is because I think over the past honestly 10 years we've evolved from like I don't know statement necklaces like big colorful I feel like bubble necklaces I remember that like ages ago to we kind of moved into like a dainty jewelry phase and then now we've kind of gone into bigger chunkier especially gold items and then worked our way back towards day tiers but also sometimes mixed with chunkier things and then beading has also been really in lately so I just kind of realized that I hadn't been keeping up with the trends and I wanted to mix in some new items with some things that I have. I have some pretty classic jewelry items that I wear all the time. You know I will always wear like a pearl earring. I always wear like a diamond stud. I will always wear like just like a dainty necklace that my grandmother gave me but it's nice to have some fun things to mix in and wear just to be a little bit more on trend and so I got this pearl necklace and it's super pretty I expect to mix it with other items so with the mixing and matching one thing that I definitely anticipated mixing with the pearl drop necklace is a necklace I picked up from Majori I think this is how you say this but if it's wrong please tell me um and look at their packaging yeah so look at their packaging it is so pretty uh like I said the packaging is so pretty they even have like a nice little stamp here that's hard to see and inside the box they have like a little kind of pouch like information and then you can see You can see the necklace. Oh. You can see the necklace inside, and so it's just like really nice packaging, and have something for travel and stuff, or if you want to stick it in your jewelry box. Yeah, I'm not gonna take this out right now because I'm going to put it on for you. But let's see if I can show it to you. What I did get was my astrology sign. Sorry, it's shaking, but. I just wanted more like drop layering necklaces and I I'm not a big astrology person but I do appreciate my Aquarius symbol um, which like all of this the sign the star signs in this form look the same to me but I just thought I might as well represent and it's very pretty it'll look good for layering and this necklace as I kind of show you is what I anticipated it hangs decently low it's just really nice it's something that like by itself isn't super attention getting and so like you could wear it to work and things like that without looking super trendy but for me at least it's my sign so that's never going to change so even as jewelry changes like a gold necklace with my star sign on it is not something I'm gonna regret but it's also like if I want to be a little bit more trendy and mix and match and add things with it it I think it matches with a lot of things really well because it's not super stand out on its own but still very pretty. I got the base level price for this and I think there are two like maybe solid gold levels above this 
So, and I think they have like one of them or both of those have real diamonds in them. So like if you want to kind of invest in this even more, which again, like this is still kind of a trendy necklace for me. So I wasn't looking to just super invest in this, but if you wanted to, you can. Also, I feel like if I was going to do a star sign necklace, it was a little bit more expensive. I'd probably want like a garnet because that's also my birth month. Precious stone or semi-precious stone. So I guess that's my two cents on like another reason that I wouldn't want to go up in price for this necklace specifically. But for what it is, I really do like it. It's very pretty. The next item I have is also really beautifully packaged. It is a necklace from, can you get it? It's a necklace from Oma, the label. Their packaging is really pretty. I have three things from them now. So it opens up like a little drawer and then inside you have a pouch. And like when it comes, it comes in like a plastic thing, but you put it in the pouch. And inside the pouch, I have a Cuban link necklace. I know this is so extra. It's part of their frosty like link collection it's so pretty like it is so pretty and I will of course try this on for you but it is like something that I thought about for a while like I thought I kind of wanted this before Christmas almost like asked for it for Christmas or got it for Christmas but then I was like what am I gonna do with this I'm literally sitting in my room barely going out because numbers are so high so I did go ahead and get it with this kind of round of things I just imagine it looking like really good with either stick with me kind of like some of the like luxury streetwear t-shirts I've been getting I think that they'll just be kind of like a high low look with that and then also just like I think really slinky satiny things are in whether it's like a slip dress or even just like a full like pajama shirt looking long sleeve button down and I just think that will look really good with like a really rich color or nice print and you know I may also look like the assassination of like Yanni Versace or something like that but it's fine I'm I'm here for trying that look and I yeah I just was really interested in it a couple things to note about Oma the label I have earrings for them really love them they're hoops so good gold plated and I also had a gold plated bracelet that I got and I did get that for Christmas. I will say that it did wear faster than I thought it would. You're not supposed to wear it every day but it's such a hard thing to put off and on especially when you have nails done. So I wore it I think for a few days straight and it did kind of like start rubbing off and you can see the copper like it still looks good from far away but not as good close up. So I think I'm gonna have to get that replated and then be more sparing with how I wear it but I've had no issues with the earrings I wouldn't have bought this if I had issues with those and so that really is just like I wouldn't say rough wearing but overly consistent wearing which they do tell you not to do but it's a bracelet it's hard to take off sometimes I just kind of let it go but yeah love this necklace and it's just I think it'll be nice for casual and uh more kind of put together outfits and finally we have a bracelet i have been kind of talking around some trends in jewelry right now and one of them is kind of like not kids jewelry exactly but like crafts like arts and crafts looking jewelry beading and your names and like rope and i don't know thread and things like that like that's been playing i think like the first notice of it that i really remember is probably like a couple years ago now Dior bracelets were really popular they were just braided they were so expensive for what they were but you know trends and then I have an account I follow on Instagram things I bought and like posted a beaded bracelet where you could put like initials or words and things like that with like kind of like gold letters and semi-precious stones it was a little bit on the pricier side and I kind of thought I wanted it and I let it sell out while I was thinking about it so I was on the lookout for something similar and what I kind of came down to is this bracelet from Bobble Bar I'll show it to you on its own since it's not showing up really well but yeah this bracelet bracelet um, 
this bracelet from Bobble Bar is just like these gold looking beads and black with like gold and white lettering little beads and they spell my name Cicely and so I just thought it was really cute. It kind of is in theme with that like I made this bracelet myself at summer camp look but it's a little bit more elevated because it's just like the gold and black and white and so it's a little bit more versatile and it probably fits in better with things that I wear. So that's kind of how I ended up with this bracelet. It is so cute. It has my name on it. It's just really fun. I like the quality. It like feels substantial in my hand. Like it feels good. And yeah, I just, I feel like it's nice to have fun with your jewelry because I think a lot of clothing items I get, not all of them, I do like to try out a trend with clothes as well, but a lot of things I get are staples, so it's nice to play around with my jewelry. But yeah, so these are the trends that I kind of, like, I talked myself into getting, and just as things showed up on, you know, my Instagram feed and on TikTok and just, like, blogs I read and stuff like that, like, these are the ones that really spoke to me, and so I thought I would share them with you. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks for sticking around to the end and I will see you next time.